I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share with you a recipe for what I call like French fried onions or just fried onion strings. Now I know I made onion rings here not too long ago but I wanted to share this recipe with you because it's really really easy and because Thanksgiving is right around the corner if you know you know that in America here we love our green bean casserole and most people top it with those French fried onions that come in a can. Um, I think it's my control freakness that comes out when I have to make them from scratch because I don't like using a lot of things out of cans and french fried onions are one of those things I love to make at home and they're so easy. You'll need some onions of course, you'll need some whole milk and then just some flour with some salt, black pepper, granulated onion and paprika and some um, vegetable oil for frying. That's it. They're really simple, they're really easy, but I figured I'd share it with you because I am going to be showing you a recipe for my green bean casserole here very soon and I'm going to top it with homemade um, french fried onions and I know a lot of people ask me for the recipe so I figured might as well. Now normally you use one or two really big onions. I don't have any really big onions so I'm just using the biggest onions I have and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top and bottom and then just get rid of the very first layer and now I know most people use buttermilk and I use buttermilk when I make my um, onion rings but the point about these for me is that they're so thin and they hardly have any real thick coating on them keeping them super super crispy and I feel like buttermilk is too thick and it coats the onions too much. It's just my thinking. Well, what I'm going to do is thinly slice these onions. I want these onions to be as thin as I possibly can manage. That's just because I, that's how I like them. That's how they should be. They don't have to be perfectly round. That you just want them to be as thin as you can manage. I don't really use a mandolin because I really find mandolins to be really dangerous. I did cut myself once. I cut off a good chunk of my my thumb, so I haven't really used one since. So I just say get it as thin as you can with your knife. Do your best. As you can see. I went kind of on an angle here a little bit to get some thinner strips. I'm only going to do one for today just because there's not many. I'm, 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 I'm really upset right now. Onions always make me cry. I can't help it. Um, the key is to really get them as thin as you can. And then I just take my little rounds and I kind of make a little slit in them like this so that when they fry it's just a whole lovely thin string of goodness. And now I'm going to cover these with some milk, just whole milk, and these are going to sit in the milk for about an hour or so, and then when there's are ready, I will show you the next step. My onions have been soaking for about an hour. I've got some vegetable oil up to 375 degrees uh, in a little pot here, and now all I'm gonna do is just stir my flour together with my paprika and my onion powder, now, I like to add onion powder, especially in this because I feel like when you taste those french fried onions, they really taste like onions and I want to kind of get, you know, it, it, it's like a hum on the back of, of the back of your mouth when you're tasting this because they're soaked in milk, so a lot of the onion flavor does come out. But, trust me when I tell you, these are going to be fantastic. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this a few at a time. I also have a plate here with some paper towel just to catch when, when I put them on. I don't want any of the oil. And I just take a few at a time, and as you can see, they're not sort of heavily, heavily coated. They're just lightly coated. Put that into my hot oil and let those cook for a few minutes until they're really nice and crispy. And then when they are done, that will take no time. And when they're ready, just put them on your paper towel lined plate and just keep on going. Last batch. And of course, I don't have to tell you that we've already been snacking on them. They're so good. That's the thing about when you're working with fried food, which is why I do not do it very often at all, you tend to never leave the scene of the crime. I mean, you just stand right here and just pick and pick and pick. Because it's at its best when it, as it comes out of the fryer with the frying oil. You want to make sure you season them some salt as soon as they come out of the oil. And taste this one down here. Come on. Mm. Mm. Phenomenal. They're delicious. Crispy to the max. They don't have a very strong onion flavor, which is fabulous if you don't really like that strong flavor, but these are going to be perfect as is to munch on 
or on top of my homemade green bean casserole. It is out of this world delicious. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com and get this recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.